What's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial on the song Sanctuary. Uh, I, f I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit difficult to teach, but not so difficult to play. Um, the chords kind of just go right over where they're supposed to go, but it's, it's definitely a song that takes a more artistic feel to it. Um, so there's a lot of like D susses or A7s. Um, there's a couple uh, E minor 7s. So it's just like all those, sorry, I dropped my pick. Um, all of those you don't necessarily have to play. You can definitely just stick with the bass of just um, like an A sus 2 is in the same key as A. Or the A7 sus is in the same key as A as well, or E minor 7 is also in the same key as E minor. It's all that. You can so you, you can play that and it doesn't necessarily like it'll stay still stay in key, it'll still sound amazing, especially with everybody singing. Um I will play it the way that I play it, and then I'll try to explain it to you the best of my ability. Um cool. So then you just loop back into the the second verse and you go down to missionary and then testimony. Um, and it's the same thing for each one. Um, I'll play it all at the very end just so you can kind of get a feel and if you feel comfortable you can play along. Um, it's definitely a more mellow song. Um, so this would be kind of at the end of a Vespers. I wouldn't, I, I guess you could do it at the end of a campfire. It's a, the only reason I would say Vespers instead of campfire um, it's because it's a little bit, it's a, it's kind of a lot of words for a new beginner. It's not an echo song. Um, and the chords are definitely a lot. So if you don't have, if you can't memorize it, it's really, really good to have this up on a screen, um, with chords or on a, uh, a music stand. I didn't take too much of artistic freedom when I played it just now. Um, you can definitely, when you see the A susses, you can... Um, kind of just play with those but it's all based on the the very normal down down up up down up down down up up down up down down up throughout the entire thing so once you get that kind of strum pattern uh once you get that strum pattern the down down up up down up down down up up down up down which is a very normal strum pattern for basically any song especially um our camp songs i switch it up here and there to transition to the next chord or transition between uh lines uh, but the chords progression, um, I'll link below just so that you're able to kind of know um, what's going on with that. Um, I guess the only big, big stuff is for the, oh, in the sheet music on the first verse, uh, it says F minor 7 um, above the pure and holy. Uh, that is just an E minor 7, it's just a typo. There's a lot of those in this book. Uh, watch out for those. That's also why I haven't done a lot of um, tutorials of, of some songs like um, Trees of the Field. I don't necessarily know um, the actual chords. Or what was the other one? Um, ah, it was, a, it was also a slow song. But um, yeah, so I guess the other thing is at the very, very end of each one, I do kind of the similar thing that I'll do in hum Humble Thyself which is the, when I go to D, I'll do D with the pinky, off pinky, off middle. Um, so it sounds like. Um, kind of gives it that concluding of the, of the verse kind of feel. Um, so I'm gonna play it again. If I think of anything during my playing, I will definitely explain it. Um, I'm, yeah.
cool. Um, so we would play the entire thing, Sanctuary, Missionary, Testimony, and then we'd loop back to Missionary for the end. Um, I think a lot of the time that we'll usually do the last um, verse, either a cappella or it'll be one person kind of just plucking um, kind of a, a guitarist that's way like more comfortable with the song. They'll like um, just pluck it out and it'll be very, very nice to end the Vespers on it. Um, yeah, um, I, I, I don't want to confidently say that the, the chords for the ta like chords for the chord progression is on that is over each um, word that you would start on. So like, sanctuary wouldn't have a sus at the very end of it. It would basically have it basically on sanctuary, um, and then a like over tried and true, it wouldn't have it over true. It would probably be right after you're done singing that that line. Um, and then after that, have fun with the Ds. I love um, adding D susses and just kind of playing because it's so easy to add that pinky or take off a middle. Um, and that just gives you a full range of what you're able to do. Cool. I hope this was helpful. Um, I love this song. This song is like just near and dear to my heart. Definitely part of my childhood. All right. You take care.